Fiction writers write about what they don't understand, not what they understand. It's about asking questions and opening up the world, not, not reducing it. So I'm John Dufresne. I teach uh, creative writing, I'm professor of creative writing in uh, the English department at FIU. I was uh, fortunate this year to, to win a Guggenheim for fiction to, uh, in 2012, and it was, it was a great honor. And, and, and I think the Guggenheim reflects well on FIU, too, that this is a university that supports its creative writers and gives, has given us the time. I've gotten a faculty award or a summer grant occasionally, and the same thing has happened. It's allowed me the time to write, and, and so, you know, I really appreciate it. I know the other uh, creative writers who've gotten the awards do, too. And that doesn't happen at every place you teach. If you have to have a job, and a lot of us writers do, uh, especially if you're writing sort of like literary fiction, or whatever, that uh, you need a day job. And the best day job, I've tried them all. You know, I drove cabs, I worked in factories, I, and I figured, oh, I'll go home, and I won't have to think about anything anymore. And but you just go home after after eight hours in the factory and drink a beer and watch the, the baseball or something. So anyway, so I happened on to teaching. I thought that would be a good way to do this, um, and it is. It turns out that. Thinking about writing, reading student work, um, and uh, trying to analyze and, and uh, figure out what's working and what's what not working helps my own writing. I want to write and I want to read literature that is about what it's like to be a human being. It tells me who I, I want to know who I am and who the, all these other people are and what they're doing and what we think we're doing and where we're heading and why we do what we do. I want to learn something about what it's like to be a human being and that's what I think is important to write. Every story should be a plunge into reality, not an escape from it.